his front page news in Tehran and across the world. What Hassan Rouhani has said in recent days means he's making headlines in a way an Iranian leader has not done for decades. Iranians like Vahid Namazi, who voted for Hassan Rouhani in the June election, want change. Not only the persons who has voted Rouhani, but also all of the Iranians uh, expect him to fulfill his promises. So what, what promises? Uh, the being peaceful, to show the other world that we are peaceful and we want to have a peaceful nuclear program. Rouhani campaigned on the promise of fixing an ailing economy at home, but acknowledged that wouldn't happen until Iran repaired its reputation overseas. There is no need for a preliminary step. Whoever has goodwill for talks, and if we can fulfill our national interests through those talks, we have no problem, no matter who the other party is, even if it is the U.S. This willingness to talk, to engage and potentially act is highlighted in reports Rouhani will meet U.S. President Barack Obama on the sidelines of the General Assembly. But Rouhani's government's efforts don't stop there. His foreign ministers already met with the European Union's envoy on Iran's nuclear program. But the diplomatic obstacles on Iran are substantial. There's Syria, a staunch supporter of President Bashar al-Assad, Iran and the U.S. and its allies are on opposite sides. Then there's Iran's backing of the military wing of Hezbollah, a listed terror group operating in Syria and Lebanon. Iran's nuclear program has also left the country isolated. But a former diplomat in Iran's UN mission says Rouhani can change all that, especially now as Iran's highest authority, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, sees the need for flexibility. The Supreme Leader statement, it means that Mr. Rouhani has <coughs> enough authority and to a certain extent free authority to handle that particular problems. And that mandate means that for the first time in more than three decades, instead of pessimism, there's a degree of optimism as an Iranian leader prepares to speak to the world at the UN. Soraya Leni, Al Jazeera, Tehran.